President of the Trinidad and Tobago Scrap Iron Dealers Association, Alan Ferguson, said livelihoods are being affected by the ban on scrap metal export. You see guys burn things on the highway. You see guys do all kind of thing. And people doing all kind of thing because they lost their bread, they lost their, 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 daily, their daily living because of what happened. And you know what, what we do? Here what we do. We just want to blame them. You know, we does not say to the government, let us look at what y'all did. He's hopeful that the decision will be rescinded to allow those affected to once again earn an income. We're supposed to be working and minding our family. And as we speak today, there's a lot of children will be able to go to school this Monday come in. And why you weren't able to go to school this Monday coming is because the government has taken away our livelihood. The motorcade culminated on Friday afternoon at the Queen's Park Savannah and the TTS IDA president was elated that it was incident free. But he has a question for the government. Who is the company in Investiti that you all want to give to this, uh, this in scrap industry? Who is the company y'all was doing the visa be study for and trying to find out how much material in Trinidad and Tobago it has? I am asking, please give us an answer this, to this question that we are asking. The association was joined by the Movement for Social Justice and the Oilfields Workers Trade Union. TTT News reached out to President of Invest TT, Seku Allen, seeking a response to the comments made by President of the Scrap Iron Dealers Association. He said he knows nothing about plans by government to hand over control of the scrap iron industry to a company connected to his organization. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.